In this tutorial, I'll be guiding you through a new addition we've added to our Zoom feature, which is the ability for you to schedule recurring meetings. So here, if I click meeting details on this Gutenberg block, we can see all the future occurrences coming for this meeting. If I go to view recordings, I can see the recordings from the most recent meeting event and also from the previous events that are all tied to that recurring meeting. And then in our social groups, we also support recurring meetings. So when you schedule a new meeting, you can see all the upcoming instances for that meeting all separated and you can see the historical ones and you can view the recordings for the past events of that meeting. And of course, as a group organizer, when you modify any of these individual occurrences, it will sync properly still with Zoom. To get the new Zoom recurring meetings feature, all you have to do is update your version of BuddyBoss Platform Pro. Assuming you already have Zoom enabled and configured in Platform Pro, then when you go in to create a Zoom meeting within the Gutenberg block or in a social group, you'll automatically see the options to set those meetings up as recurring. Let's start with the Gutenberg block. So here in Gutenberg, I can come here and add a Zoom meeting just like before. I can click to add an existing meeting. And if I have a recurring meeting from Zoom, I can grab that meeting ID and paste it in here and it will automatically set it up correctly. And I can also go in here and create a new meeting. So I'll give it a title. It's on Thursday, August 20th. And I'll turn on recordings, let's say. And then we can come over here into the block settings. And when you scroll down, you'll see this new area, recurring options. If we click that, it will pop open and we can turn on that it is a recurring meeting. So I'll say that this one recurs weekly and I could say every two weeks or whatever, I'll say every one week and I'll set it to Thursdays. And then I can end it by a date or after a specific amount of occurrences. So I'll say after 10 and let's publish this block and view page. And so now we see our Gutenberg block has the date of the next meeting. And then it also has the occurrences. So it recurs every week on Thursday, 10 occurrences. And I can click here to view the meeting details, which again has the date of the upcoming meeting, but also adds in the upcoming occurrences. And then if we view here, this is a meeting that has had historical recordings. And so if I click show recordings, instead of just seeing the recording from that specific meeting, we're seeing the recordings grouped together from all the historical occurrences of that same meeting. So we can scroll down and find the date we're looking for. And we can also go in here and use it to just quickly navigate to a date. Now we're here in a social group and we can see that this meeting daily standup for members is a recurring meeting that has 17 occurrences that recurs every day. And then if we look here in our sidebar, we can see that there's one on August 21st, there's one on August 22nd, 23rd, 24th, right? It recurs every day. And this little yellow dot, if you hover it, it says recurring and on the meeting itself, it shows that it's recurring. So your users will start to learn that the yellow dot represents a recurring meeting. Let's go ahead and create a new one. So I'll call this, let's say meetup daily. And I'll say it's going to start on Friday, August 21st at let's say 4 PM and it's one hour long. And then now you'll see this new checkbox to make it a recurring meeting. So I can check that and I can set up the recurrences. So I want this to be a daily meeting. So I'm going to set it to daily. I'll say it repeats every day. I could end it on a certain date or I can end it, let's say after three occurrences. So I can go ahead and click create meeting. And then now when we look on the left, we can see Meetup daily is on August 21st at 4 p.m. It's again on August 22nd at 4 p.m. And again on August 23rd at 4 p.m. And once one of these occurrences passes, it will show up in the past meetings. And let's say I want to edit this meeting. So let's say the one on August 21st, I want to edit. So I can go in here and click edit this meeting. And now we get this new pop-up telling me that I'm changing a recurring meeting. So it asked me, do you want to edit all occurrences of this meeting or only the selected occurrences? So let's start with all occurrences. And instead of 4 p.m., let's make this at 5 p.m. So let me update the meeting. And now we can see it's at 5 p.m. And if I look at the future events, we have August 21st at 5 p.m., 22nd at 5 p.m., and 23rd at 5 p.m. All right. Now let's say I only want this one on August 22nd to be changed. And so I want this one 
on August 22nd to be at 2 p.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and click edit this meeting and say only this meeting. And let's switch this to 2 p.m. And you can see that it lets me edit that, but it won't let me edit the meeting title or the time zone or whether or not it's recurring. Basically, these are the things that have to be locked in for all the occurrences, but it will let me edit the things that can be specific to this meeting according to Zoom. So I'll click update meeting. And now we can see that meeting daily is at 5 p.m. on August 21st, now at 2 p.m. on August 22nd, and back to 5 p.m. on August 23rd. Allowing for you to edit all the occurrences and to edit just a single occurrence and to have them repeat and have all this working properly with Zoom API was a bit tricky, which is why this took some time, but we have it all working now and we think you guys are really going to enjoy it. And we're still working on other features in the background. In some future updates, you will see the ability to join the Zoom meeting within the browser without having to leave to the Zoom app and also Zoom webinars after that.